Oh my gosh, these Jutus are so OP. So welcome back to another video guys, so in this video I'll be reviewing all the game passes with the gaming codester. And please subscribe to his channel, it'll really help with his family. And his family needs help to pay the bills and his he's doing it by mowing lawns and his dream is to become a YouTuber so please get him to 1k subs guys. Channels in the description, also sub to my channel too, we're getting close to 330 subs. And we are on the road to 400, so please sub. Don't forget to like, and comment, don't forget to and like, comment, share, and share if you enjoy, enjoy the video. Don't forget to just join please, the Discord Please, this too. took me forever. Now let's begin. And don't forget to join the Discord too. Now let's begin. So these guys are the off-sale jutsus, which are Pain's jutsus, including Chakra Rods and Planetary Devastation, as well as Enton Hana Koizatsuchi. <laughs> and wow, that was a tongue twister. And the next one we have is Magni Rasengan, and you see the animation is pretty cool, so I highly suggest you to buy this. So this next jutsu is Enton whatever who that was. So this is the thing. I don't really suggest you buy this one, it's not that good. On to the next Jutsu. So our next Jutsu is Onyx Chidori. It's just a black and white Chidori. And I think it just does regular damage just like a Chidori, so I don't think it might be that good if you wanna buy it. So the next Jutsu is the Endress Arrow. So this looks pretty cool. Oh my gosh, this does so much damage, so I highly recommend it guys. So the next jutsu is the truth seeking orbs. This one looks like a pretty good jutsu because you can shoot many at a time. Wow, I actually did a good amount of damage. Even though it may be a bit hard to aim, but I think it's a pretty good long range jutsu overall. So I would recommend it. So this is the planetary devastation, which is a pretty strong jutsu and a pretty good animation. So it's good to show off. And just look at Cody's drip, like, much better than mine. Like, just look at mine. <laughs> oh, look at the top of his head! <laughs> okay, no more roasts about my weird hair and bacon hair and my broke self. So now we're gonna review the best game passes in the game, in my opinion, which are Renegon Sasuke and Ridoku Naruto. First Jutsu is Ultra Ross and Shuriken, which is just this, three shurikens launched at once. So this is Renegon Sa Shonengon Sasuke, exactly what the name says, but it gives a little speed boost, which is pretty good. It's mainly just for the appearances, so if you want to look pro, do it, but it's not too noticeable. So now we have Rukudo Naruto. So the drip is pretty good. On to the next Jutsu. So the next Jutsu is I'm going to tell Kajikara, with this Jutsu you can instant teleport. Not like Flying Regine, I mean instant, and it costs 50k, so double the value. So next game pass is Curse Mark, and there are three stages, so this is stage 2 right now. It's just for the looks, I don't really like it, and this is Chidori Laminate. Good animation, but not the good damage, so don't recommend this guys, don't buy it. So now we have the snake stage, and it doesn't really have any good moves, so we'll just move on to Mizuki stage. And it gives a bit of a speed boost, it's pretty significant. And the drip is good. So now we will move on to the moves. So the first one is Ido Tensei, which is just a reanimation jutsu, which is pretty good. So I think this is a... Kind of a good jutsu, better than Shadow Clone, but I wouldn't buy it. So now we have inorganic animation, and wow, it took half of my health. So this is a decent pack, you can buy it, but it's not too good and not too bad. Well anyway, moving on to the next pack. So the next pack is a bit different, it's Senju Sage. Flex. This is off topic. Well anyway, so the first jutsu this is, jutsu is really the 1000 hands. It's pretty big. It's also kind of hard to aim. 
So, with 1v1s, I don't recommend this jutsu. It might be good on the ten tail probably, but people use Ice and Mon, so I wouldn't recommend this jutsu. So the next jutsu is Wood Clones. It's right now, it's just a bit fast. But these can be uh, spawned simultaneously, which is pretty good. And I think it can take out someone. You can use these as a shield. Yeah, it's good for shielding, and, you, and then you can just stack a long range jutsu. Well, anyway, moving on to Shukaku mode. I think this will be much better because there is many jutsus, and I think it'll be good. And it has a really good animation too. First jutsu is Sand Coffin. Hey, I'm a potato. That's really all I gotta say. I know there's a lot of weird things going on in the world right now. But for right now, I'm a potato. And there's nothing that's gonna stop me from being a potato. And that's not a lot of damage. Well, anyway. I'm a potato. And our next jutsu is quicksand. Our next one is grand mausoleum. I think it'll just be like the ramen stand ceiling jutsu. Like you can kind of escape it, but you're still kind of trapped. So this is similar to the ramen guy pass. So if you don't have robux, this is the same thing. And if you don't have Roman Guy, uh, click the video right above. And I really recommend this game pass. I think it's really good. Shukaku mood, you should buy it. The next jutsu, well, not a jutsu, but like an appearance, is just half Shukaku mode. So it's a sage jutsu, so it will take, not sage, but it will deal damage when you initiate it, so be aware. But overall, it looks pretty good. It's just the hands kind of look like a sausage, so. Next Jutsu is the Raikage's Chakra Cloak. It's really fast. For the fastest game pass in the game. So if you want to be fast, buy it. And he's all the way over there in that short amount of time. So what I'm thinking of, we should do a race to see how fast it is. Okay, so I'll just get a head start real quick. Let's see if we can catch up. So first we're going to test out the moves, and the first one is Lariat. And it's just like Chidori, so maybe not the best game pass. But this Jutsu is much better. It's really quick and does tons of damage. So this Jutsu is decent, but it's not the best one unless you really like speed. The next game pass is Sage Mode. And I think this will be really good considering the amount of Jutsus there are. So, these are the moves. The first one is the double Rasengan. And it's pretty good. It's a, the blast range is really good. So, the next one will obviously be a different kind of Rasengan. Because in this pass, there are three types of Rasengans. And this is just the first type. So, there is Giant Rasengan, the Tail Beast Rasengan, and that is about it. And this is giant racing. Much better, like that blast was far. So the next one is probably just Tailed Beast to racing on. And I think it'll do good damage, but maybe not uh the blast may not be as much. Okay, so right now he's just equipping it right now. Oh, man. So, I think you have to initiate this cloak to use the first tilt. <laughs> we don't fart. So, that was a pretty good 
uh, Game Pass. I think you'll really like. So our next Jutsu or uh, Game Pass is the Six Tails. I think this is a pretty good. Wow, that came out of nowhere. And there are people interrupting. <laughs> so I'll just have to take them along with my combat, my OP combat. Well, we slaughter them off, and this is what the, the Six Tails has. So I guess another Rasengan. As you can tell from the animation, there's some armor on it. So and that's wow, pretty cool. it can hit. It's not combat, but I think it's much better than combat. Oh, and it has like a 360 blast radius, so that's pretty cool. And also, Tail Beast Bomb. So, I think this is a pretty good um, medium range combat. So, well, these game passes are... I mean, these Jutsus have close range and medium range, so I think it's pretty good. So, I recommend you get this, and a cool animation too. So, I think this is a pretty good deal. I mean, if you think about it, good. Like, it's really good. So now, the next Jutsu is the 8 Inner Gates. Another fast one, but I don't think it'll be as fast as the Raikage's Cloak. Actually, this is the fastest game pass. And w when he initiates it, it has a pretty good uh, damage. And a pretty good radius too. So this is faster than the Raikage's Cloak. So that's pretty surprising. 